six. Question, how can the torque from a weight force be calculated? Question mark. Think back to when you were younger riding on a uh, seesaw. Uh, basically, if you and your partner were about the same weight, you could put the pivot point like right in the center and, and have a lot of fun. But if, let's say, for example, you had a, uh, another like kid sister or somebody come and uh, sit on the seesaw over here so that, you know, all together there was more weight, right, you would want to move that pivot point so that the torque from the person on one side gets balanced out with the torque on the other side. So if this is kind of a line down the center from before, which way do we want to move that pivot point so that the torques end up kind of like balancing each other out? In other words, like the clockwise torques end up balancing out the counterclockwise torques. Obviously, over here, we have a bigger weight, yes? So we have a bigger weight force over here. No, 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 no. And over here, we have a, you know, a smaller weight force. No, 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 no. I'll call this FG1 and FG2. And remember, to calculate torque, it's, it's the force times the perpendicular distance to the pivot point. So if we want to kind of balance it out, which way would we move that pivot point? To the left or to the right? Well, if we moved it to the right, say over here, like that, well this here is the pivot point, yes? That's the point that the, that the uh, plank is going to be teetering on. So if you draw a perpendicular line from the force's line of action to that pivot point, well basically uh, one would be like from here to here. That's FG1's perpendicular distance to the pivot point. B1. And then if you drew a, uh, uh, a perpendicular distance from the pivot point to the other force, the other force's line of action, that would be D2. D To balance out the torque that's making the plank teeter clockwise the other way. Well, what would be an expression for the torque making the teeter totter tilt counterclockwise? Which force is going to make it go counterclockwise, FG1 or FG2? Remember, here's the pivot point. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. FG1, yes? So if I want to write an expression for the torque produced by FG1, what would be the expression? <coughs> for the torque that's going to make the uh, plank <coughs> teeter clockwise the other way. <coughs> F. And if I wanted those two to balance out, 
you know, what can I do with these two expressions right here? You could set them equal to each other. And if you set them equal to each other, you have the torque that's taking it counterclockwise equal to the torque that's making it go clockwise. And then you could say Fg1 <coughs> times E1 <coughs> equals, whoopsie. <coughs> you okay there? Yeah. Fg2 times E2. And maybe it would help if you uh, put some numbers on here. If, uh, if Fg, this person here, weighed... Um, Remember, we want to do it in weight, so it's going to be uh, newtons. Yeah, so we'll say uh, 400 newtons. All right. All right, we'll say 500 newtons. And then let's say that this person over here, with their little kid sister or something, let's say they're um, um, 750 newtons. Actually, why don't we? Uh, why don't we just make it a simple uh, 1,000? distance right here was, uh, or, or let's do it this way, if, if E2 equals one meter from here to here, no, 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 no. one have to equal? Well, if everything was balanced out, we can come to our equation down below and we can say Fg1, which we know is 500 newtons, times D1, but we don't know what D1 is, equals Fg2, which is 1,000 newtons, and we were told that D2 is one meter. And using these nice simple numbers, you can easily see that D1 is equal to two meters. So we were correct in moving that pivot point to the right because D1 would have to be a longer distance to balance out the fact that that weight over there was, was smaller. But in the end, the same amount of torque. It's being exerted. Yes? Why can't we say that the torque moving it counterclockwise equals the torque moving it clockwise? Why can't we set them equal to each other? Wouldn't like two, like the torque would be different? Like these would come out of the same point down and up. First of all, there is no down and up. Well, like You're trying to find the balance point? The balance point. Yeah, so it's like even Steven, they're just balanced out. So that way that when they actually start going up and down, it's like even Steven, they could they could both like manage. This situation when the uh, torque going uh, counterclockwise and the is equal to the torque going clockwise, this is known as rotational equilibrium. And sometimes you have to do some logical thinking uh, to figure out these problems. So let me give you an example and give you guys a moment to try to see if you can figure it out. <coughs> 